la, the other, I think a couple of weeks back, Sundays, he say, we have been sharing about the kingdom of God. And we have seen a number of things uh, in the kingdom of God. Yet last Sunday, we shared about the values in the kingdom of God. We saw that righteousness goes ahead of anything else. By right, by right Yesness, we shall be established. And the Bible says, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. So we shared a lot. And he said, we, we, we discovered when Jesus was saying, yes, we are seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things shall come. So we discovered that we should not be anxious, we should not feel anxiety. But we, when we are of the kingdom, if we are of the kingdom, we shall not worry about food, we shall not worry about what to drink, if we focus our eyes on righteousness. Now today, we are going to share shortly about the kingdom of God that the kingdom of God is sexually established and for that reason it un, it unnes trust it, it, because it is firmly established we need to trust the kingdom so when we go into scriptures let us go into the book of Isaiah Isaiah chapter 28 verses 16 we shall discover a couple of words here and it will help us to the glory of his name Isaiah is a very monano in your communal cargo. Isaiah is a very monano in your communal cargo. Mukama Katonda Chavayo get antidava. Take a mosayuni, a ginger cuba mosinj, a ginger yakimeva, a ginger yokun sonda, a yomuendo munji, a dinuese when you want see. Praise God. Amen. The Bible says, the ba the Bible so this is what the Sovereign Lord says. See, I lay a stone in Zion, a tested stone, a precious cornerstone for a sure foundation. The one who relies on it will never be stricken with panic. Therefore, thus says the Lord, God, Behold, I am laying in Zion for a foundation, for a foundation, a stone, a tested stone, a precious cornerstone of sure foundation. He who believes, trusts in relies on and adheres to that stone will not be ashamed or give away or hasten away in a sudden panic. Allow me to share with you in just a couple of minutes the Bible says that this is what the Lord says that he is laying a foundation he is laying in Zion I told you last time 
that Zion is a picture of the church. That he's laying in a church a foundation for a foundation, a stone. And this stone is a tested stone. It is a tested stone. Not only is the, the, tests, the tests it has gone through, it has led them to become a precious cornerstone. And for that reason, why do we need to know all these words? Why do we need to know about the, this precious stone? Why do we need to, to know about this tested stone? Why do we need to know about this tested stone? Why do we need to know about this tested Why do we need to know about this foundation? It is that we, that we may trust in rely on it and add the air to it and you will never be ashamed of it. So in the kingdom of God the kingdom was firmly and securely established. And it has a sure foundation. And this kingdom shall never be shaken. Why is it that it will never be shaken? It is because it has a sure foundation. And in this sure foundation, there is a certain stone in it. And that stone was tested. And that stone is our Lord Jesus Christ. That he was tested. And for that reason, he has become a precious cornerstone. That we should trust in him. We should rely on him we should add here to that stone and wherever whoever relies on him will never be shaken amen 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 let me repeat it. We thank God. As God called us, He's calling us unto His kingdom. As He was laying His kingdom, He laid His kingdom. This kingdom is established. It cannot be shaken. You cannot shake it. Why can't you shake it? That it has got a firm foundation. A tested foundation. And this foundation and they had they have put a stone. And when that stone is tested, and why is it tested? Because whatsoever is tested, it is reliable. It is reliable. Whatsoever is tested, you can rely on it. When you go to the mechanic, and it repairs your car, he says, let me drive to a test to see what, what I've done is now okay. We, we, we and the one whom they have done it, because they have tested it, you feel assured. You feel you can rely on it that it goes, it's going to take you journey. Because what you are using has been tested. We have a stone in salvation. We have a stone in the kingdom. Which was tested. And his name is Jesus Christ. And it's the chief cornerstone. Which has 
which is the most precious. In the kingdom where we are, there is what we call a cornerstone. Who is our Lord Jesus Christ? I'm going to tell you why is it cornerstone. And why is it so important for you to delight in that stone? Why is it so vital to rely on this stone? Because that stone was tested. It was tested. That's why the wise person, if you were to sit here, you first shake it. So that you, you might see something where you sit when you can fall. Praise the Lord. Testing is not that easy. Try or being tried is not that easy. It is going through a lot of challenges. You go through a lot of hardships. When you are under test, there are things that are so challenging. There is always fire. When they are purifying gold, as they are testing gold, they make it to go through a lot of fire. And this is the I'm talking about. It was tested and they found that it is the only one to be a chief cornerstone unto this foundation of the kingdom. How was it tested? It went through all the challenges. It went through all the tests. It went even unto the cross at Calvary. And dedicated and said, let me be crucified. So that other one might be alive. Let me be crucified. So that the other can be reached. It was a test. And it was nailed on a cross. So that I may be free. It was stricken as it was tested so that it may be able to handle my sickness. And because of his wives, we are healed. It was tested in all areas, all spheres. And it was found that it's the reliable one. In the kingdom where we can, there is something where we can rely on. We are not alone. You might have slept hungry. You might not have had something. You might have been dead. But there is where we can always rely. There is where we can humble. When we say Jesus, they are shaking me. But I am clinging to you. Because I am trusting you. You were tested. I don't know whether you understand this message. Brethren, I want to assure you that we have these four things. A foundation. We have a stone. And we have a tested stone. And we have a precious stone. Which is in the corner. For the firm foundation. Let us go in the book of Matthew. Chapter 21. In verse 42. Matthew 21, 42. Matthew chapter 21. Matthew chapter 21. Matthew chapter 21. Mm. Mm. Yes, you know, I'm going to tell you that the people who are in the world are in the world. The people who are in the world are in the world. The people who are in the world are in the world. 
Have you never read in the scriptures that the stone which the builders rejected it became the chief cornerstone and this is the Lord is doing. This is what is happening. Uh, 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 the Bible says Bible that a rejected stone which was once rejected it has turned out to be a chief cornerstone. Jesus was rejected in all ways because he was going through a lot of tests so that he can be reliable. He says that Jesus asked them have you never read in scriptures the very stone which the builders rejected and thrown away has become a cornerstone. This is the Lord is doing. And it is the marvelous in our eyes. It is marvelous in our eyes. What am I bringing out? When we are relying on this stone, we become as hard as that stone. Why is it? Whosoever relies on that stone and you rely on that stone, you become as strong as that stone. And whosoever is trusting and leaning on that stone becomes as precious as that stone. You know the entire world worships Jesus. Do you know that he is so good? Do you know he is precious? Do you know he is a rich man? Do you know whoever knocks on Jesus just fails? That's what I have said. Whosoever trusts that cornerstone and you rely on it, it becomes what that stone is. Because that stone is so precious, whoever relies on that stone becomes precious as the stone. Because that stone is, is so hard and strong. Whosoever relies on that stone becomes as strong as that stone. But where are you know, Because that stone was despised. That the stone which was rejected it had been minimized. The, the, the despised stone is the one that became the chief cornerstone. And whenever you lean on that stone you become precious as it. Whenever you lean on it, you become a And whenever you rely on it, you may face rejection. Because when you are rejected, there is hope that as since it was rejected, and at the end it was accepted, and it became the chief cornerstone. I'm speaking unto you today. Rely on Jesus. You have been on Jesus. And the word has 
destiny to Sam Wahmas. And but he agreed to become a soldier. Which is going to use the soldier. You are going to become the chief cornerstone. Which is going to build it up. I may not speak a word. But who is the destiny to be changed? But it becomes something that is also going to become. I'm going to beat. And they said, "Now we are going to be changed." And they said, "This is the Lord is doing." This is the Lord is doing. It is only God that God can do this. There is someone they about to say. They about to say that you were not the one. You rely on him. They are about to say this was not the work of the man, but it's the work of the Lord. And I was here. And I was here. I was here. I just saw Pastor John coming to me. He came here. When he came, he did not understand what was going on. After service, we were in the office there as we sat. And he told my pastor, I am not sure whether what I'm seeing is right. I remember in Machindi, from Machindi, all of us we say, these people have not yet had some courage. You could see the foundation there in Machindi. They had building. And when they could reach there, they could admire us. I never knew. And said, God has made these ones to go through. And for us, we were crying out and saying that we are going somewhere. He came at the, that meeting we had of Rick Reed. We had just came here. We <laughs> had just said where we had come is really <laughs> not great. And he could not understand things going on. <laughs> we were praying there. <laughs> and he could not understand. <laughs> and he said, when I have come to church, and from there I went to the toilet I was about to fall there even this toilet couldn't fit in machine I asked the toilet how did you see what I'm going to tell you is this when you lean on this cornerstone people may not understand what you are in people may not understand where you are going because the stone knows where you are going you don't need to know where you are going even people around you they don't need to know where you are going but when it reaches you to your destiny they will say it has been the God is doing. And he said that, Pastor, there is where you go and read. When you see people striving, come and come. I have entered in the church. And I have entered in the church. I have entered in the church. And I felt the Holy Spirit was moving. And it wasn't the work of man. But it was the work of the Lord. That's what I'm speaking unto your life. When you rely on this stone. It is a trusted stone. 
trusted stone. Why is it trusted? It was tested. It was tested. And God discovered that this one can be relied upon. Tell your neighbor that I mean. Sometimes people don't understand things. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Romans chapter 9. In verse 33. Romans Romans nine. Nine. That behold, I'm laying a stone and two Zion. That will make men stumble. Amen. 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 Behold, I am laying in Zion a stone. That will make men stumble. A rock that will make them fall. But he who believes in that rock, who adheres to, and trusts in that rock and he relies on him shall not be put to shame nor be disappointed in his expectation. When you fully trust in Jesus you shall never be disappointed in your expectation. Should I ask a question? Is there anyone here with some expectation? Is there anyone here going in expectations? When you have expectations and you say that tomorrow I'll be this and after this and tomorrow I'm going to be this. Is there any believer who has it? He says, so whoever trusts and relies on that stone and you rely on it trust and you trust it that you are not going to be put to shame you are not going to be ashamed. You are not going to be ashamed. For us we decided to trust the stone. We don't care how things may look. And we say that chief cornerstone. He is our example. He was despised. He was rejected. But they discovered it later that he is the main reason of their being. I want to assure you tonight whosoever trusts that stone and you trust it and you rely on it and you devote unto it you are not going to be put to shame all your expectations is not going to be disappointed you are not going to be disappointed. Where you came to Jesus is alive. 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 That stone is alive. That stone is alive. The Bible says, Whosoever can be, will just fall. And I've told you, when you rely on it, you become as it is. Who knocks on you? You have knocked on that stone. The one who has confronted the stone. 
That's why when we are laid on this foundation, we have the assurance that the foundation of which I'm laid is a farm of a hard stone. It cannot be shaken. No one can shake me because the foundation of which I'm standing is a firm foundation. I want to assure your business. Put it on this stone. It's not going to be shaken. It's not going to be shaken. Your life is not going to be shaken. It's not going to be shaken. Your destiny is on this law. It's not going to be shaken. Your ministry is on this stone. I don't know which one But no one that constructs on Jesus and their life remain the same. What confronts you are going to fall. The things that are confronting you are going to fall. Alan Yangwan. Alan Kam. In one month. From now. Your life. God is going to do marvelous things. You have been ashamed. You have been despised. But there is a rock on which you are relying. I see you are not going to be ashamed. The people used to seek and they were hiding. I see them looking for you. Those that had hid from you. Those that used to hide when you were coming. They are the one who is going to come looking for you. This rock is alive. Whosoever builds on this rock is not going to be ashamed. Who builds on this stone? has got life I repeat again in one month's time your life is going to be at a turnover point God is going to manifest in your life. And the world is going to be amazing. Your life is going to be said that this is the Chiri hand of God. It will be said that this is the Chiri Lord of God. It will be said that this is the Lord of God. It's God's doing it. So that he may be glorified. Your life is going to be said that this is the Lord of God. It will be said that this is the Lord of God. It will be said that this is the Lord of God. No one relies on this stone. And so that the world doesn't bow before yeah, 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 yeah. There is someone here. I see God is going to use you. I see the work of the ministry upon your life. But the stone on which you are leading is going to make you someone else. The person I'm speaking to, you have been here and laughed at. You become the conversation. He pities you. They see you as someone who is sorrowful. But I see the hand of the Lord. And he said that you have learned so much. You have learned so much on this stone. You have learned so much on the Lord. And God who is just. He is now coming for you. He is now coming for you. This stone. This stone. 
said many years. It was spoken unto the days of Isaiah. And he prophesied. And the things that are going to happen. That they are going to be a storm. It's going to be unto Zion. In the church where God has blessed you. That is our Zion. But there is a storm we are having. There is a stone. There is a stone. When you lean on it, when you are sick, when you have cancer, when you lean on it, when you are sick, 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 when you are because he said that he the stone on which we are living is the stone that makes the witches to become man. This stone so whoever relies on it is not going to be put to shame. Raise one of your hand in the air and say, Lord, shame. It has been part of my life. Whenever I could pass, there is something that I should have But from today, on this stone on which I believe, the stone that I believe is a real stone. I'm not going to be ashamed. 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 I've had enough shame. I'm not going to be ashamed. I'm not going to be The stone that I'm relying on, whosoever is on it doesn't get ashamed. Doesn't get ashamed. Who is on it doesn't get ashamed. Some of the days of your shame are over. When the days of your shame went out, and the days of glory have come upon you. The days of glory have come now. The days of glory have come. I see there are three men here. God is crowning you the crown of glory. In your you will be accepted in your fields. They will see you at the When you are the man, the man of God. Because the anointing was on Jesus. The anointing that was on the stone. That's the anointing. There goes the anointing. There goes the anointing. The anointing that goes on the stone. The stone of our Lord Jesus. Rashata na probobosha. Walu o muntu o bado logwa. Someone who has been bewitched. And the one who was bitching was sitting in the stone. And he could blow the pipe. But it is a stone that is stronger than that. It is a stone that is stronger than that. Petero, not to my Petero. As we are winding up, let us read in the Jagalibia and the Cabinet of the Petro de Soka. First Peter. A Suleo Kobidi, Chapter Two. No Lunio Rokuna Paka Kromkag. In verse four up to verse six. Petro de Soka. 
As we come to him, the living stone. Other stones don't have life. The The only living stone is our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh And as we come unto a living stone, when it was rejected by men but but unto God is a chosen and it's a precious one and to men when you are rejected and to men you are nothing but unto God you are a chosen one. He said, come unto that stone. No one else chose it. It's only God that chose that stone. There is someone. You were rejected from while you were still in your mother's womb. You were rejected while you were still in your mother's womb. And the world rejected you. And the world rejected you. You were despised. They never saw you. Whatsoever you had gone through, you were born. And even the day you were born, you were rejected. You had a rejection. But I see the hand of the Lord. He's coming unto you. He's coming unto you. The hand of the Lord is moving. He's moving. He's taking away what they had put on you while you were sitting in the That you would be rejected. This is a living stone. And in the parts of the world where you go, when you go to your relatives, they despise you. And you can't get your parents people to sing. And you could you find where you stand and you can. But God who is just said, as you have relied on me, the one who relies on me is not put to shame. Listen. Come to him. Then to that living stone. Which many tried and threw away. People try to throw you away. You have tried to see that you get connected to people. But things were not working your way. And when you calculate the calculations that is And people try to throw it away. But which is chosen and precious in God's sight. I want to speak the three words. To be, being 
despised. When people have rejected you and despised you, it doesn't identify you. What makes you what you are? That you are chosen by God. And you are precious before the Lord. It's not what the world takes you to be. But what God says you are. That's what you are. That's why I pray for you. Whereas you were subjected. And was thrown. And he was precious before God. And God brought him forward. When you were relying on that stone. He's going to get to you where you are. He's going to uplift you. He's going to uplift you. And the people tried and they threw it away. What they never knew that as they were throwing it away, that it was precious and it was good before the Lord. There is someone you are precious before God. But the world has despised you. The world has despised you. The world has abused you. And the people that you expected to be on your side. They have also despised you as well. And you walked there, here and there. And you became nuisance. And what the Bible says, they did all that because they never knew that you were precious before God. You were looking good a chosen man of God. There is someone in four days you are going to testify these words. You are going to testify the more they threw you away the more they are going to seek you you are about to get phone calls that you never expected to call you. There are people you, you last saw in 2016. He's going to call you in this very year. He's going to call you this very year. Because you are precious before God. Let us read one more scripture. In the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 2. Chapter 2. In verse 20. And to, up to 20. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Agambi built on the foundation of apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. In him, the whole building is joined together and rises to and rises to become a holy temple of the, in the Lord. Now, 
And in him, you two are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his He starts by saying on verse 20 that you are built upon the foundation of apostles and prophets which Christ Jesus himself is a chief cornerstone. In him the whole structure is joined bound, welded together. Harmoniously and it continues to rise, grow, increase into a holy temple. A sanctuary dedicated, consecrated and screed to the presence of the Lord. In him and in fellowship with one another. You yourselves also are being built up into this structure which the rest to form which with the rest to form the fixed abode. Drilling place of God in by through the Holy Spirit. He's trying to bring out that we can all be built in the, on this foundation. As the apostles and the prophets were built on him, and he is the chief cornerstone. We too can also be built in him. That's why I told you that when you are built unto him, the, the Bible said. The, 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 the building will be together, joined together and welded together. When we are in Christ, we are in one accord. When we are having one heart, you are welded together. You see that welding machine, it joins the metal on another metal. This my son who does welding. He knows what welding is. Joining a metal. But what I'm trying to say. When he builds the you, person who's built on his foundation. When Jesus is the chief cornerstone. welded together. That person he cannot be shaken in the name of our Lord Jesus. I pray in the name of our Lord. Let you be established be across with the power so that you may flow in him and so you may overcome in him. You see his goodness in him. You may be built in him. You may be established in him. And there is no way which is going to shake you. You shall be established now and forever and forever. You shall be established now forever and ever. Let me speak little about the foundation. The foundation is something which enables the structure to stand. And when it is hidden, the foundation is always underground. But it enables the story building to stand. There is something that is in the, in the foundation and is Jesus. It's the foundation on which you are built. The world may not even find where Jesus is. Because he's already there. It is something that is in the moment they, they recognize that you were established. The way they are going to know that you were established. That you are on a firm foundation. The way you are going to be elevated. 
foundation. Let me speak about the foundation. That good that foundation is. The more good the foundation is. The higher the building goes. Because I've got a good foundation. In your elevation you have no limit. Because I've got a good foundation. Where you are mounting there is no limit. If I had gone and preached in the band, they would have said, I know they understood what I have said. But preaching to these children of thunder, and they are like the Catholics, it really puzzles. Let me repeat. We as the engineers, if you were to do a story building and it mounts up, you have to make the foundation when it is so hard, when it has gold iron bars and we put the bases down there. and we put strong materials down there. And you put a hard concrete. concrete class twenty-five. And And we put an bars. Eja high tensile. Eja twenty-five millimeters. Twenty-five millimeters. No chisiba one say you and you make it down there when it is so firm because there are things you are putting on top of the foundation. And I'm telling you the foundation which you have. It is far better than the foundations of we engineers make. It's a firm foundation. Bible again the material and the, the material that makes it it's a stone it's called Jesus Christ and I said that foundation on which we are laid because it's so good you are mounting up the sky has no limit may God bless you The way you do it is the way you take the things. The way I bow my head is the way I get things. Let me speak unto one. There is someone here. You have gone through a tough situation. The Bible says that Jesus is the tested stone. You have gone through a lot of challenges. You have gone through challenges. The challenges have been so many. And yet you were a Christian. You believe God. You are a servant. And you love Jesus. And yet the challenges are many. The time you have been going through. If they are to join a metal and another metal, they first weld the first one so that this one melts and another one feels that heat. Some element of bonding. The one on whom you join 
has been fire and you had a different material and yours had got to be melted to be so that you may be joined together. But what you have gone through, the fire has been so tough that it has melted you so that you are burning up with the stone. And because of that reason, you are stuck on that stone. And not in so many days, God is elevating you. The way I used to go and borrow portion, they will come and borrow money from you. The way that you go and borrow clothes. You are going to sell unto them. The people used to beg. You are going to show them how people had it. the people that had forsaken you you will give them a hand and help them the people that laughed at you are going to be compassionate unto them And the people that used to abandon you, you are going to bring them together, aren't you? Father, we thank you eternally because you are the God of our lives. You have seen in our lives. You have seen in our destinies. We have seen you helping us. We have seen that rock which the builders rejected, which they had thrown when it had become a chief cornerstone. Because we are relying on that stone. Lord, we promise and we believe today that we are going to walk in that grace as he was rejected and we were also rejected as he was picked and chosen and it became a precious stone. How about we love? That's how we intercede and change our lives. So that we may quicken our homes. So that we may quicken our lives. So that your name may be glorified. We shall return the glory and honor through Jesus Christ the Son of the Living. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. This message has been a bit hard. How many of you, when you have understood this message, may God bless you.